Did you know that grass snakes are not venomous? There's 26 species, and they are also known as garter snakes or water snakes. They can grow up to four feet long and live up to 15 years. Welcome back! In today's art class, we're going to draw and learn about grass snakes. Grab a pen or a marker, a piece of paper, and some colors. Alright, let's draw! Alright, so we're going to start at the top center. And we're going to draw the head. Halfway, a line, half you, and you can draw the nostril. And the tongue. Grass snakes are predators, and they actively look for their prey. Their primary diet consists of toads, frogs, and fish. Now for the neck, it's gonna, we're going to draw an S and then it's going to curve around so it'll look like it's on top of each other. So we'll start under this, what I'm going to call the chin strap, and you're going to follow it. And this one's going to wrap behind. that it's coming back this way. So this one you want to finish the front. Wrap it around. And you can continue it. Grass snakes are some of the fastest terrestrial snakes and they are excellent swimmers. They can swim up to five miles per hour. Drawing a little bit of the, the chest or the belly. Oh, it's curved, so if you want, you can show that there's some belly back here. Grass snakes mostly like to live near bodies of water, like lakes, ponds, grasslands, and woodlands. They are very active during the day, and they like to take breaks and bask in the warm sun. I'm just going to draw in a few scales. And dots. Did you know that grass snakes have several predators? Some of them include snapping turtles, hawks, frogs, and squirrels. Great job following directions! Now it's time to color. Go ahead and enjoy the music and a few more fun facts while you color your artwork.
When threatened, grass snakes will release a horrible odor. It smells like garlic. And they'll also coil themselves up on a rock with their mouth wide open to ward off predators. Grass snakes are typically brown and dark green and they have a creamy white yellow collar around the back of their neck. Sometimes they can be gray and black depending upon their habitat and location and have white bellies with black splotches like a zebra. Thanks for joining me today. Don't forget to check out last week's art class. Hit that subscribe button for new art classes and tag Fitz Art Clips when you upload a picture of your artwork. Can't wait to see what you create. See you next time.